I've just put together a list of the top five remote job opportunities available for you in 2022 and beyond, so let's get started. And the first one of them is a no-brainer. It doesn't require any skill, it is available worldwide, and as long as you have a basic understanding of how a computer works, you're good to go. But at the same time, it is one of the lowest paying ones. I'm talking about working as a virtual assistant. If you happen to live in a top tier country, such as the United States or Canada, Earning $10 an hour is not going to sound that great, is it? It's certainly not going to make you rich. But if you happen to live in a poor country where $10 is a significant amount, then this is a pretty easy job that is not going to be too demanding and it's a great opportunity. It is all about completing some very easy repetitive tasks for other people so that you can save up a little bit of their time. Even people from the United States have generated multiple five figures on Upwork by working as a virtual assistant. $70,000 earned by this user, here's another 30,000 generated by this girl from the Philippines, and I could keep on going for ages. Here's another 30K and another 20K, and the list goes on and on. I mean, there's a lot of money on the table, but again, this is not going to make you rich. You're basically just trading your time for money you're not actually getting paid for your skill but just for your time so not only are you replaceable but you cannot really make any progress here either again i just want you to keep this in mind you can work as a virtual assistant on your laptop from wherever you want and you can still make some money but if you want to do something a little bit more challenging that's gonna pay you a lot more then here's another option let's move on to number two on the list i'm talking about writing jobs and there are quite a few of these first off proofreading this is all about correcting a text making sure that there are no grammar mistakes, no spelling or punctuation mistakes, and everything is on point. Let's just imagine that a blog owner asks you to do that for one of their blog posts. So they've just written that piece of content, and now they want you to review it. They want you to do a final check just before it gets published, just to make sure that everything is in order, and no mistakes have been made. Well, believe it or not, this is a remote job opportunity that can pay you up to $50,000 in the long run. I mean, here is a freelancer from the United Kingdom charging $55 an hour for this job. But as you can see, they are an academic proofreader, which means that they probably have a degree that allows them to operate. And that gives you a lot of credibility. But even if you're not a professional, even if you only want to do this as a side hustle, you can still charge a pretty good amount for every single hour of your time. And let's face it, this is not rocket science. In 2022, you can use tools such as Grammarly, which are going to do most of the dirty work for you. So you don't have to do anything other than just plug your text into Grammarly and then just apply the changes. So it's a no brainer. Again, it's a very easy job. It is a little bit more challenging than just working as a virtual assistant. And for that reason, it might be a little bit more profitable in the long run. But when it comes to writing jobs, this is not the best option. There are some better ones. For example, transcription jobs. If you connect to transcribeme.com, for instance, you can get paid for turning video or audio files into text. You're literally going to plug in your headset, then listen to some audio file, and then get rewarded for just writing down whatever is said. You can find such job opportunities on Upwork as well, or you can connect to a platform that is specifically created for that, such as transcribeme.com, where you can become a freelancer and start earning any Anywhere. Just as mentioned, this is a remote job opportunity. And the payout starts at $15 per audio hour. What you have to understand is that transcribing an audio hour is going to take you longer than one hour. It might take you two or three hours. Again, this is not the most profitable side hustle, but you can easily make an extra 250 bucks a month without too much effort, which is not so bad. And it basically requires no skill either. Like, let's face it. You're just listening to some audio file and writing some words down. It doesn't take a genius to do that. But if you really want to take this to the next level and get paid a lot more with writing jobs, here's the best option you have. It's called copywriting. And it's one of the most valuable skills you can build. Some people call it the art of selling with words. And that's pretty much what it is. Once you learn this skill, you will be able to write emails for email marketing. You will be able to write the whole text on a web page, create a sales funnel, create a copy for various social media posts and that's why you can charge as much as $60 an hour or $150 an hour and by the way in case you're wondering how much money is on the table well this freelancer has generated over $600,000 on Upwork alone and they didn't have to complete thousands of jobs they only had about 73 jobs and they were able to do that because their time is more valuable now they are just trading their skill for money 
and not their time, right? That's why learning a skill first and then doing the work is far more profitable than just becoming a virtual assistant, which is the easy way out. There are hundreds of tutorials on YouTube that you can watch for free, which will help you improve your copywriting skills. But at the end of the day, it all boils down to getting the reps in, actually doing the work and improving as you go. So I would recommend that you watch a few tutorials, get an idea of what copywriting is all about, then connect to Upwork and list your services, wait for people to place an order and learn as you earn. But let's move on to the next one, bookkeeping. This is a skill that will be in demand for years to come. I see no reason why this skill would ever become redundant. Businesses will always need somebody to do their bookkeeping, right? So if you manage to master this skill, then you can actually charge a pretty generous amount of money per hour. We're talking about $45 to $65 or even more than that sometimes, depending on what it is exactly that you do. Now, of course, having a little bit of previous experience here and having a comprehensive portfolio is going to help out. It will build more credibility. You can still give it a try and see how it goes. At the end of the day, you can do this on your laptop you only need to have an internet connection and you're good to go so this is also a remote job opportunity and if you're looking to work from the comfort of your home and make money without having to travel to a physical location without having to go through the struggle of commuting and waiting in traffic and all of that stuff, then bookkeeping is a real option. So I suggest that you consider that. But let's say that you don't necessarily like numbers and instead you're more of the creative kind. Well, then graphic design is a great skill to master. There are so many different use cases for that, ranging from designing websites, to designing products or different advertising materials. And the amount of money you can make will depend on your skill and how you're able to help a certain business. You know how people say the riches are in the niches, right? And graphic design is a great example of that. The more you niche down, the more money you can make. If you just label yourself as a graphic designer, well, you can probably charge $20, $30 an hour. If you label yourself as an expert graphic designer for product design, then $55 an hour is a pretty good rate. But to be entirely truthful, graphic design is not necessarily for anyone because you do need a fair amount of talent, you need some creativity to pull this off. So graphic design is still a great opportunity to make money online working remotely, but it's for a very specific type of people. In comparison, sales jobs might be a better option if you're not a creative type. And there are so many of these. The earning potential here is insane. And let's start with the lowest level, reaching out to people, cold DMing. It doesn't take a genius to do that. You're basically just reaching out to people on behalf of a business, trying to promote products and services, trying to establish some sort of a relationship. But once you've done that enough times and you know how to talk to people and how to persuade them to perhaps book an appointment or purchase a product or just to get them interested in what you have to offer, you can then move up the ranks to appointment setting. And this is a great opportunity. In this case, your job will be persuading people to book a call. Let's just say that a business you're working with offers coaching services, right? And they're using Instagram as a way of reaching out to more people. What you have to do is talk to your followers, talk to people who engage with your content, who leave comments and likes and so on and so forth, in order to convince them to book an appointment with your sales team. The ultimate goal is for them to purchase your coaching services. Most of the times appointment setting is also commission based. So the more people you can book on that calendar and the more sales you can generate, consequently, the more money you can make. And that is how these guys are making hundreds of thousands of dollars. And ultimately, you can become a remote closer. This is a sales rep who is responsible for getting clients to commit to the sale. Again, let's just stick to that example of a coaching business, right? And let's say you are a remote closer. Closer. You will get a potential client on the call and you will have to talk them into purchasing the program. That is your responsibility. And most of the times you can get 10 to 15% of the sale price. This is another commission based job where you can get 10 to 15% for every single sale. And most importantly, it's a remote job. You can do it from anywhere on earth as long as you have the skill. And people are making four to five figures a month with remote closing. And finally, guys, once you pick one of these four different opportunities and you go for it, it is time for you to officially become a digital nomad. This is someone who's working remotely using technology and the internet. And if you think about it, all of these job opportunities offer you that possibility. At the end of the day, you don't need anything else other than your laptop and an internet connection. And that gives you a lot of freedom to travel the world and still make money at the same time. That's it for now and thanks for watching.